We have negative 2x plus y equals 2. We've got to solve for y. Um, graph the equation and, um, and identify slope and y-intercept, I guess. So uh, we're going to solve for y, get y on its own. So we have negative 2x being added to y. So to get y on its own, we have to get rid of this negative 2x. So we just, we were trying to get y equals something. So that's the first step. Get rid of the negative 2x. So add 2x. Make sense? Yeah. Oh, so we've got 2 plus 2x. I'm going to write that as 2x plus 2. Um, and then we have to graph it. Just going to throw up a little table. And one thing that confused students is like, where did you come up with the table? And where did you come up with the numbers? I, I made them up. I'm just going to make up numbers. I'm making this up. Uh, because what a, line, a linear equation is, is that it's, a, it's a relationship between infinite numbers, infinite y values and infinite x values. But you kind of have to make up the x's to figure out what the y's are. So it's up to you guys to, to plug in a bunch of x values and then figure out your y values. So that's how it kind of how it works. Um, just for fun, I'm going to plug in um, just to, to change you. Sometimes I usually do 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm just going to do negative 3, 0, and 3, just for the fun of it. And I just made them up. You guys could do negative 5, 0, 5. You could do 1, 2, 3. You could do negative 1, 0, 1, or whatever. But I'm just going to do those for fun. Um, and now plug in the y values. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 2 in each case. 2 times the x value plus 2. 2 times the x value plus 2. So we're plugging in negative 3. 0 and 3. So let's see, negative 6 plus 2. 0 plus 2, 6 plus 2, right? So negative 6 plus 2, negative 4. 0 plus 2 is 2, and 6 plus 2 is 8. You okay with that? Yes. Cool. So we've got three different points. Here's the x value, here's the y value. So x is negative 3, y is negative 4. I mean, sometimes students like to write these out. You don't have to. Negative 3, negative 4, um, 0, 2, um, 3, 8. So you can just read them off the table. You don't have to write them down, but anyway, those are the points. So x is negative 3, and then we plot the y is negative 4. X is 2, y is 2. X is 3, y is 8. And then we get a ruler or a CD cover, in my case, and draw a line through it. And so that is the line. And so we've graphed it. The line is y equals 2x plus 2. Um, and I'm just going to verify that the, the y-intercept, the b, see this is y equals mx plus 2. And, and they're both the same here. The m is 2, the y-intercept is 2. But yeah, the y-intercept b, that's 2. And if you get the rise over the run, or like take two points, you'll notice that you're going over one, up two every time. The run is one, the rise is two. So we have a rise over run equals two over one or two. So the, the slope is two and the y-intercept is two. I'll just put that up to the screen. All right, that one? Yeah. 